go. Drennan coming up. One more lap to go. White flag flies. And what a remarkable run he has put together. Just consistently in that 156 mid to high range. Just uncorked a 156.4. And that margin now. We'll keep an eye out for when uh, the rest of the field streams through here. Is this bad? Look at Pardis now working the outside. The margin now 8.4 seconds. Run into Little Hill. Can he make the stick? Oh. Now he's going to be on the inside of two. If he can make the stick, he will be uh, in a great position to take that bronze. But he's not going to get it easy. Oh, touch. Nice save by Sutherland. Great but save. But cost him big. Yeah, but now you've got Hal Haldeman is right back inside of Pardis now. And they're going to go two wide through three. Oh, look at this, and Haldeman may have made that work. Unbelievable, and here comes Casey, and Pardis drifts over to dissuade him from that, and there's a touch on Reynolds uh, by great. the number 20 of Rollins, wishing amazing car control. I was just going to say, great skill by <laughs> yeah. all these guys. You get the, the save there uh, by Sutherland as he uh, went off into the dirt, or he almost went in the dirt, and then you see that, that Casey, everybody's kind of touching, but we're still rolling. And again, this is the last lap, so... Right now, Haldeman has fought his way back into a potential medal, but he has got a very racy Pardis so right behind him. Pardis has been very fast through the S's. Yes. On every lap, no matter who he's behind, he's on their bumper. I think he's going to try and set up Haldeman right now and get a run, and there's a slip by Haldeman. I think Pardis is trying to get the run to maybe have a pass going into 11 for the final turn. I wouldn't count out Casey here either. If these two get into it, Casey has had that nose in there a few times. This is going to be fascinating. And for Sutherland, he just got trapped on the outside, tried to turn in, and they touched, knocked him a little sideways. Meanwhile, Drennan, last time through turn 11. He's got one corner to go. What a story from second on the grid. The no wife, no kids, TFB performance, Spec Miata. He is through that final turn. Here we go. Checkers fly. And for Mark Drennan, he earns himself a gold. He had one pole before, but look at this battle. This is for this is for third. This is unbelievable, as they almost went three wide coming in. But right now, Haldeman, he's got the line. Can he hang on to it? Yes, he will do it. With Little Hale getting the silvers, it is what a drive by Haldeman coming back two spots in the last lap and getting himself back into a third place and a bronze medal. There's Mr. Littlehill. We haven't talked much about him here. He's been kind of in that lonely second. But I think he could be one of the stories of the race. Uh, Tristan Littlehill dropped back just a little bit at the start and then just methodically started picking people off. And when he got into second, and again, we were talking about, boy, that car's sliding around. How is he going to keep the grip? He just went. Yeah, he really did. Once he got by uh, Sutherland there, he just was, was able to put the whole pack behind him and just go, 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 put his head down and try to make a run at Drennan, but Drennan was not a man to be caught today. No, nah, he was just uh, up in another little bit of a world. Uh, and just, again, the, the precision that we saw from him in this race, never a wrong move. That car never stepped out. You know, when he would bounce over a curb, he meant to. He knew exactly what he was doing. He really did. He just never saw the car move. That car has got tires in it for another 15 laps if he wanted. He really was just dialed in without sliding much around. And the fact that he's able to stay out of those battles, those battles do slow you down. As entertaining as it is, if you're in the middle of it, it's exhausting. But it's also a slower pace, and uh, really the things come back to you. But uh, what a great, great run by Drennan. A great race to get out of the pack there yes. for Little Hale. And then the finish there for Haldeman, and Casey, Pardis, Reynolds, that whole pack and Sutherland in there. Just unbelievable racing. You don't hear this very often when you're talking about Spec Miata racing, but Drennan's drive was just plain pristine. Absolutely, yeah. This is, a, again, a couple years in a row now, very clean races. It's about four or five years in a row. I think the old legend of the old days of, of Spec Miata being a bit more of a derby is no longer true. These guys are precise. They're experienced and clean, incredible racing. And even when there is a touch of contact or a slide, you saw it there as they came around turns three on that uh, last lap. Yeah, great recoveries. Great recoveries indeed. And we will hear from our podium finishers when we come back to Sonoma.
into Victory Circle staging area where the interviews happen, where the medals get draped around the necks in the number 10 of Mark Drennan out of San Jose, California, and his Mazda Miata has made his way into that area. Look at that. He's I love it. He takes a glove off, gives a thumbs up, takes another glove off, thumbs up. He is delighted, as he should be. The hat goes on, but before that, that medal draped around his neck. Hayward, this guy is pumped. Mark Drennan pulls on the pit lane. The first words out of him out, out of his mouth, oh, my God, you did it, Mark. I did it. I did it. I did it again, too. It's amazing. Oh, my God. I, uh, I'm so, helpful, uh, so thankful and happy that this finally came true again. And now we're going to win the tech shed because <laughs> you got to be fast. you got to be lucky, but you got to be legal. So that's my plan. How satisfying is it to have a race like this where you can control the entire race Take the lead in the first turn and just drive your race. You know, that's, uh, that's normally how it goes for me over here. I mean, uh, this is my hometown. This is my house, and nobody's going to beat me here. Nobody. So, yeah, I just drive away. That's what happens. Well, congratulations to you. Enjoy one more lap. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks so much to TFE Performance, my crew guy, Eddie Lee. Absolutely fabulous. Really appreciate it. A very hapful Mark Drennan. I know. I think I'm going to use that one. I like that. A combination of happy and thankful. And, uh, you know, the other thing that he leaves with still intact, too, is his track record as we take a look at the uh, rest of the uh, top ten finishers. Uh, Tristan Lillehill, absolutely superb drive. Uh, Chris Haldeman, boy, he earned that one coming back for that podium. That was an absolute scrap. And for Matt Reynolds, I'm sure he's a little uh, bummed after qualifying third to be back at six. So we said he gets another shot at it in E-Prod where he's also very quick. But uh, I'll tell you what, that was uh, that was a fun one, and uh, that battle f- for third is just absolutely insane. So let's get back down to Hayward as we watch Mr. Drennan head out on his lap of honor. Hayward, you've got the other podium finishers. Tristan, you might have had the drive of this race, got through a couple of positions, really strong. How did it feel for you? Felt really good. Uh, didn't want to, didn't qualify as good as I hoped, but uh, we knew we had a strong car for the race, and we just had to work our way up the field slowly. By the time I got to second place, Drennan already built a gap, and Drennan is uh, the king at keeping gaps the way he wants the gaps to be kept. Um, otherwise, it was really clean racing out there, and I really enjoyed it. Well, congratulations on a podium. Thank you. And he, he makes the point. Drennan got out there and got to that point. Interesting, just, and it's purely speculative, but what would have happened? As, uh, he is one excited guy. I absolutely love it.